Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're just going to be having a look at some of the changes that they've made to batteries and just the electrical system in general. But before we get into that, I just wanted to remind everyone that I have a Patreon, Discord and Twitter. If you're looking for any assistance with electrical circuits or just want to connect with uh, some of my subscribers and community, then the Discord is the best place to do that. Um, it's received a really, really uh, great response. Um, and there's a great little community that's developed there. So if you are needing assistance, then uh, follow the links that will be in the description and uh, come say hi. Alrighty guys, so with the introduction of the medium battery, we now have three possible batteries to choose from when we're looking at using electricity in our base. So the medium battery can be bought from Bandit Camp for 75 scrap. It also costs an additional 75 scrap to research and 25 high quality metal to craft it. It outputs a total of 50 power. So now we have, like I said, the three options, a small battery outputting a maximum output of 10 units, the medium battery outputting maximum of 50, and then of course the large rechargeable battery outputting a maximum of 100. On top of the addition of the medium battery, there's also some uh, pretty big changes with the batteries in general of how they charge and um, output capacity. So now we have what's called rust watt minutes. So you can see that here uh, in the capacity, it's showing 100 out of 900 rust watt minutes. The small battery has a total of 150 and then the large battery has a total of 24,000. So now when we're using batteries, they automatically detect how much the circuit requires and the circuit just draws how much it needs. So in this particular instance, I've set the circuit to draw 15 units of power, even though the large battery can output a maximum of 100. Now with the capacity of rust watt minutes, it's stored so far, it will last uh, on this active usage for 23 hours, 16 minutes and 40 seconds. And as you can see, it's going up. So previously with batteries, you couldn't have it directly connected to a power source like I do right now and connected to a circuit and actually have the charge going up. The reason being is the battery would always output the maximum amount of power it could and could only also receive the same maximum amount. So previously the large battery could only receive 100 units of power, but with the weird math that happened in the background, it would only absorb 80% of that. So uh, you don't have to be a genius to figure out the math there that the balance would mean that the battery would just continuously drain. Um, now, even if we're outputting 100 units of power here, it just means that there's a little bit of uh, balance there and it will just tick down very slowly. Um, but it's, it's a big change to what they previously had. So I'll set it back to 15 here and we'll see it going up. So to have 23 hours of battery backup um, is much larger than what we had before. The large battery previously would uh, last for a maximum of four hours, which was the biggest power source we had. So 15 isn't necessarily a realistic amount for what you would be using for a large battery. So let's set it to 50. It's not particularly hard to imagine, but seven hours at almost full charge here. If we had it at the 24,000 rust watt minutes um, completely, of course it would last for about eight hours. So the really easy way to uh, calculate if you're interested how long it will last, even though it does it for you automatically, is you divide the amount of rust watt minutes you have stored by the active usage that you're using. The large battery, like I said, if you were using maximum output, uses uh, lasts for four hours, just like before. The medium battery is 18 minutes. And then the small battery is uh, 15 minutes, just like previously. But of course, uh, if you're not using maximum, then they will last for a lot longer, uh, which is a nice little buff, especially to the small battery, considering it would usually only be used in uh, very small circuits there. Additionally, through my testing, as far as I can see, uh, as I'm sure this question will pop up, how much power can you now actually put into a battery 
now that they can accept more than max output? Well, as far as I can see, they can accept about four times the amount of their maximum output. So in the case of a large battery, it's just over 400 units of power that it can input. The medium battery having the maximum output of 50 units of power, um, of course, can accept about 200. And then the small battery outputting a maximum of 10 units of power can accept about 40 units of power. So that's more than enough to be able to charge the battery efficiently, especially if you're using it for automatic lights to make sure it runs for the whole duration of night. It's more than enough to have it charge, also run during the day if need be, and then uh, last throughout the night, especially if you're just using solar power. Previous to this update, if we wanted the same effect where we could run off the main power source and charge the battery at the same time, we would need a circuit such as this. Um, this is the battery backup system that I designed previously and had been very effective up until now. Um, there were many other designs that worked perfectly well out there on YouTube, um, but now they're pretty much all obsolete. Um, the only scenario where you might want to use them is if you were using multiple batteries uh, as a backup system as it's still not particularly ideal to run them in serial. It, do it doesn't really make sense. It would be much better to use them as a multiple backup battery system as I showcased in one of my previous videos uh, more recently. All right, guys, well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. It's a fairly short one, but I think it's going to make a lot of people happy um, knowing that the battery backup systems that are going to be in bases now are a lot easier to set up. It's pretty much connect your power source to your battery and you'll be able to connect the rest of the circuit to there. It's fairly simple. You just got to keep in mind that you have to have a big enough power source to both power the circuit that you're running and uh, have excess power charging the battery otherwise you are going to be in a negative otherwise guys just like usual if you did dislike the video then hit that thumbs down i do appreciate the feedback either way but if you did like the video smash that thumbs up comment uh, with any questions that you have subscribe to the channel and don't forget i have that discord if you need any help with electricity um, i myself answer a lot of the questions in there but there's also a lot of people in the discord that are very knowledgeable on the subject as well otherwise guys we'll see you in the next one take care